Aren't you dead yet? Oh, you're a new contestant on the Katana is Right. Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we've got a lot of stuff to do. So it is day 45. I spent the last three uh, days, in-game days, uh, just basically working on the Horde base, and I'll give you an update on where we are with that. Uh, but I'm running out of food. I'm running out of med medical, and I'm, I'm working overnight, too. So I've been attacked a few times by... Um, you know, the night, night night nasties. And they kind of messed me up pretty bad last night, but they didn't kill me. Uh, they almost killed me. Um, so here, let's get this set here. Here we go. And so anyway, in this episode, um, we just have kind of a bunch of random things to do. And I've also, you know, leveled up a few times from all the mining that I'm doing. So I took another point in... Uh, we have 49 mining tools right now, so... Now, we're doing really good with that. I'm making blue level iron picks. Um, and I took a point in another point in Daring Adventurous. So we're now up to never, level three there. And I finally got um, maxed out uh, Sexual Tyrannosaurus. So I think those are the only two things I've put points in uh, since I had you last. So I got a full chest of stone here, um, clay there, and more stones and some sand. Uh, I've got a decent supply now of limestone. The thing that's stopping me right now is jars, and I can't make jars in the normal forge. I need the blacksmith's forge to do that, and that's locked at the moment. So um, I think what we're going to do is probably just hit some more POIs uh, in and look for jars. I mean, I need jars because that's you know what's keeping me from making more concrete. Uh, that being said, I do have 26 murky water here, so what we're going to do is we're going to divide that in half. And um, let's grab some. Uh, let's grab some stone and some sand here, and we're gonna just keep making as much concrete as we can. Uh, what did I do with? Oh, I just I'm I just confused myself. I don't know what I just did. Oh, sand. We're missing the sand. Okay, let's grab that sand, and we'll just make as much more of this as we can. So I'm not really having too much trouble getting limestone because of all the mining that I'm doing. It's it's quite literally it's the water, and the fact that I can't make, um, you know, that I can't make jars, kind of sucks. And I wished I would have known that because uh, you know because I was throwing jars out earlier in the series, and you know I didn't know that. You know what else we're gonna do? Let's take four stacks of stone. I just make a crap ton of sand because we're going to need it, you know, for more concrete. Uh, by the way, this will be the, um, should be the last episode, I think, that I'll record, pre-record before I get back from my trip and, you know, we get all caught up, uh, just so you know. Okay, now, uh, we're going to grab the concrete that we do have so far, which is um, this much. So we got... 500 so that's basically 50 blocks plus seven we can do 57 blocks so far with what we got um i'm pretty much running my forge non-stop um you know making cement and smelting iron let's get that top back off too and i have several stacks of iron i mean i've got i got a ton of resources um and you know as soon as i get a stack of nitrate then i'm taking some taking it over to the traders there and making more gunpowder and then i'm turning all of that stuff into shotgun shells so we now have a full stack of shotgun shells plus six which is amazing um however i'm i'm trying to be still be conservative with the shotgun mostly because i'm trying to level up sledges um so i'm trying to use the sledgehammer as much as possible for you know kills that we need to do Okay, let's grab some, uh, actually, be, no, before we do any building stuff, I'm going to put this back in here for a minute. I want to go um, harvest the garden. So let's see, do I already have the hoe? I do. Oh, I got some extra stone there. So let's go do the garden first. And then after that, we will get you up updated on the base, and then we're going to go hit some POIs and search the jars and do trader quests and all that good stuff. I want to go around and check the traders too, because 
um, you know, they've reset. And I haven't been to any of them actually since Horde 42. And if, you know, if I could find an auger, that would just be amazing. Absolutely amazing if I could, you know. So that's one of the reasons why I took Daring Adventurer 3, because that increases the chance of something like that happening for us, you know. Um, so anyway, the garden just continues to kind of expand around the lake. And so let's go ahead and harvest it up and get the seeds replanted. And actually that's not part of things, but I need more chrysanthemum anyway, so I'm gonna I'm gonna grab these and the golden rod because they hey, they're right here. So why not, right? Okay. So yeah, I've I've extended the garden all the way over to there so far. Let's get Roddy McD out of the way here. Oh, get some low on stamina. Guess we'll use the shotgun. One thing I don't like about Ravenhurst. Time for me to get up on my complaining soapbox now. Why in the hell do we harvest the whole entire plant? Why can't the plant just stay there like it does in vanilla? It's a real hassle because now I have to replant everything every time. I don't understand that. I don't like it. I don't understand it. But it is the way that it is. So I guess we'll just have to deal with it. Anyway, um, let me get all these harvested and replanted. And then we'll see, you know, what we have left over um, most of this produce if not almost all of it though I'm gonna use to you know just make more seeds because I don't have enough produce yet to uh, to start using it um, so I'm still just trying to build up my seeds right now and still relying upon you know boiled eggs and fish and that sort of thing for food the problem with the fish though is that it doesn't give you a stamina buff uh, but baked potatoes actually do, believe it or not. In fact, baked potatoes give you a higher stamina buff than even bacon and eggs in terms of duration. Uh, they both give you a stamina buff of 10, but um, the duration is actually longer on the bacon and eggs. So let's just put anything that's a produce. We'll keep the seeds in our inventory and just replant them. There's no point in taking those back up to the base. Uh, those can go in there too. And then uh, keep working on this. Okay, so we are back with our produce. Uh, let's grab whatever we have in here, too. We got onion. We'll put that stuff in there for now. Uh, tomatoes, strawberries, pumpkins. Uh, let's see, what's this? Lettuce. And I. I think that's all we got. Okay, let's grab... We've got six things of fertilizer. Oh, I need to get another compost uh, thing going, too. Okay, so for hobo stew, that's what the one I really want to focus on because that's the one I can make right now. So potatoes, corn, tomatoes, onions, cabbages, and carrots. Um, okay, so we've got five potato seeds here. Uh, I forgot to replant those, darn it. Um, okay, so let's go to s seed here. Um, I have a decent amount of tomatoes and corn. I don't have a ton of potatoes, but we have five potato seeds here. Onions, tomatoes, carrots, and what was the other thing? Tomatoes, onions, oh, and cabbage. I got a decent amount of that, too. Okay, so I think... I mean, I think we have a relatively decent amount of all that stuff. And we have six things of fertilizer. So let's just do this. Let's do um, one thing of cabbage. Oh, wait. Hold on. Stop. Ah, doggone it. That was the wrong thing. I'm supposed to do the one with the fertilizer because then I get two. Okay. So let's do one thing of cabbage. Let's do one thing of carrots. One thing of... Corn. One thing of potatoes. One thing of tomatoes. And we have one fertilizer left. 
so I think it would be onions, right? That was the other thing. Good. Okay, so that uses up all of our fertilizer. Now uh, we can make... I'm getting... I, I have a fair amount of pumpkins already. Let's make aloe vera seed. Let's make blueberry seed. Carrot coffee. Let's make more coffee. More corn, lettuce, onion, potato. Tomato and wheat. And yeah, we might as well make more pumpkin seed too. I can't, I don't have any recipes to do anything with pumpkin uh, at present except for the pumpkin cheesecake, which requires other things that I don't have. So if I could eat the pumpkin straight up, which I don't think I can. Oh, can I? Yeah, I guess I can. It doesn't give you give much though, but yeah, I guess I can do that, huh? But as you can see, I'm pretty much just turning all the stuff directly into seed for now uh, until we can get a really good supply of everything we need. Okay, so let's put the produce back in there. I need one more strawberry harvest before I can start making strawberry seeds. Um, and you can make like a yucca fruit salad with that, which is, sounds delicious actually. Uh, so let's put all that back in there. The aloe... Uh, that'll make us let us make one more cream, which is one more bandage. I might end up just going to the desert and picking up picking more aloe for now. Oh, I got a whole mess of of cobblestone uh, that I've made too. So let's put that in here. We're gonna start having problems with room in this in this uh, storage here pretty soon. Nice problem to have, right? Nice problem to have. Okay, we got a couple of wheats left, so let's put the wheat in there. Uh, we have two coffees. And this is all seed here, right? Yeah, so we'll go put that stuff back in the garden. Uh, some pumpkins. And I think we're good. Now, let's take this and this. And, oh, we do have a... We have a goldenrod seed. We might as well plant it, right? We might as well plant it. Okay, let's make some more... of these guys in here. I've got four uh, jerkies that I made because we're a little super low on food. So we're just going to eat all of these right now. Okay. So I'm going to go back down, uh, plant all this stuff. And then um, I'll meet you guys over at the horde base and I'll show you uh, where we are at with that. All right. Let's take a look and see where we're at. Uh, with the horde base build. Uh, so I've gotten um, a decent ways down there, uh, but my plan is to go all the way to bedrock, but I have tunneled. You can't really see it very well from up here, but I have tunneled all the way uh, to bedrock and intersected with uh, the tunnel that, the return tunnel, I guess, that I've already dug that actually starts over here. And I have to have, I have to have this return tunnel set up and working properly you know, by, by Horde 42, or I'm sorry, 49. So that's what we're going to do. Um, now I'm going to try a different thing here. I, you'll notice I've got centered, um, poles here. I saw Camos Gamer, uh, who's another YouTuber, if you're not familiar with him, do this. And I thought I would give it a try too. Normally what I would do here is I'd either put a couple of hatches or a door so that I can open it. But what happens is the Zombos still see this as a pathway to me so they'll step on them and half the time they'll fall off couple but some one or two of them will be able to stay on and that gives me a chance to you know to hit them with the sledgehammer uh, but I don't have like the whole entire group there all hitting on the blocks at the same time so it seems you know pretty manageable and then I've got you know the usual quarter pulls here I've got double plates on both uh, sides here so we basically have a double layer of protection but without all the bulk of two blocks um, so yeah all of this stuff here is going to get upgraded to reinforce concrete uh, for Horde Knight 49 um, I'm probably going to take some more of this stuff out at the top uh, too um, um, I think so haven't gotten that far yet though um, but anyway I'm, I'm also going to keep this as blocks because what this does is it requires the zombos to stop, jump, stop, jump, instead of just run straight up with a ramp. 
Um, and that just, again, it just delays them a little more, buys me a little more time and keeps me from getting overwhelmed uh, so much. Now, if this doesn't work, you know, then I, I have a, a way to retreat, which I'll show you. And, you know, we'll go back to the next time we try it, we'll go back to, you know, the door um, or the um, uh, hatches, you know, to, to drop them through if, if they start to, to overwhelm me. Um, I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with all this out here. I don't really need to do anything with it. The important thing, though, is that the pathway, you know, from here, because this is where they're returned, so this is where they're going to come back up, uh, w is good all the way to here. So that means I'm probably going to go ahead and at least, you know, do... Uh, before I do that, though, I, I want to finish the other stuff up there. Uh, but anyway, I'll have this pathway be reinforced concrete all the way, at least one block. Because if I leave it wood, you know, they could they could fairly easily destroy that. And if it breaks the path to me, you know, then the, then the, um, the system doesn't quite work like it needs to. Okay, so let's go up here. Uh, we're actually probably going to have sleepers up here. I haven't set down the land claim block yet because I'm not 100% sure we're going to be able to, to do this on 49. I'm pretty sure, whoa, pretty sure we'll be able to, but not 100% sure. You are, like, just all over the place, man. Okay. Oh, I need I need to grab all this leather too. Uh, so I need to do that. Sambo's in here. Might as well kill him, get the XP, right? Let's close that door. Get some bleeds on you guys. Big Mama, you need some bleeds too. Okay, well that works also. zombos in here nope okay while i'm you know while i'm thinking about it let's uh, let me just grab this um uh this leather really quick so just give me a sec here okay so that takes care of that uh now let's go down here uh this is going to be the area we're going to stand. And, you know, once I put the land claim block down, then we don't need to worry about zombies from up above. So as soon as I know, I'll be able to, to use this base for sure. On 49, then I'll go get the land claim block from the other place. Well, I won't go get it. I'll just make a new one for here, and then we don't need to worry about the other place anymore. Uh, okay, so let's see. Let's get all this upgraded, too. Okay, looks like we ran out of concrete uh, for this, so I'll, I'll just come and do another another round uh, and get this all upgraded to reinforced. Uh, is that? Yeah, that needs reinforced too uh, as I continue to make more concrete. But right now, what's holding me back from that, again, is jars. So I need to get some jars uh, going, and the only way we're going to do that is to loot them because I do not have the ability to make them. All right, so let's get to it. Let's get to it. We're also going to go visit uh, the traders and see what they have for sale and take jobs from them because then we can kind of, you know, keep doing quests and getting loot from the trader while we're getting jars and everything else and getting XP. But uh, so far, you know, I, I think we're doing pretty good overall. I'm, I, I'm feeling good about uh, things in terms of our progression. And I um, fully expect to be able to do Horde Knight 49 in the new base. Now, I'm probably not going to get the same amount of XP um, in the new base because it's not going to be based upon explosives. But... You know, I'm going to do, do it this way anyways, just because I want to change it up a little bit. I've been doing the same exact 
thing um, pretty much from, well, from starting with day 14. And I want to change things up a bit for you guys and for myself and, you know, try and start leveling up sledgehammers for melee, that sort of thing. So that's why we're going to, uh, you know, do something different this time around. And I don't know, I mean, you know, I mean we might, we probably will, will get decent, you know, a decent amount of XP from that. I, I don't think it's going to, at least not on 49 anyways, because we don't have real high skill in, in uh, sledgehammers. But, you know, we could still pick up two or three levels a night, which isn't bad, um, you know, just depending upon how things go and if everything holds up um, and all that kind of stuff, right? So, uh, oh man, I got a bunch of wood in here, don't I? Went out and got that off camera. Recipes, turn that into a bandage. And that only leaves us with three bandages. So yeah, I'm going to have to make an off camera, camera desert trip too, I think. Okay, let's get that in there. I think everything else we have here is uh, stuff we want to sell. And um, I'm going to put... No, I'm going to put these in here. And we don't need to take the wood with us out in the field. I do want to keep our barricades, of course. And I think we're good to go. Oh, actually, yeah, we're good to go. All right, let's go do this. And believe it or not, it's jars that we're looking for. So we'll start with our, our trader buddy here. Do we have any trader quests, by the way? Oh, we do have some trader quests. Okay. Uh, let's make craft an armor bench. What was the holdup on this? I, I don't think we have the skill to do it. Okay. Here we're waiting for air filters. The one of you guys told me that I can actually make air filters um, in the workbench. Uh, so I need to actually look, that, look at that. Uh, but we still need another beaker too, so... That's the other holdup for that that quest. Another thing that makes Ravenhurst difficult, more difficult, is it's got small stack sizes. I mean, 500 is like the maximum stack size. All right, let's take a look at your inventory. We're going to sell first. Okay, I think that's... Oh, oh why did I bring that with me? Here, let's just sell it. <laughs> uh, I think that's it. I think that's all I have to sell. Okay, let's take a look at his secret stash. So he's got a wood splitter mod, which is pretty nice. He's got the motorcycle handlebars, but oh my goodness, those are expensive. Wowzer yowzers. Um, you know, here, I have another complaint about Ravenhurst, okay? You guys, you know, I got, oh, look at that, baby. I got to complain a little bit every once in a while, right? Um, that's only going to cost me 240 bucks. I'm going to just buy those. What do we got for mods? Hunter mods pretty good. It's 864. Uh, I do not like the fact that when your tool loses all its durability, it disintegrates and disappears completely. Poof, gone. See ya. One reason I don't like that, other than the fact that it's just a royal pain in the ass in general, is that it... Uh, if you have a mod on it, you lose the mod. I've lost like three or four mods now <laughs> uh, because that happened. You know, I wasn't paying attention and because I'm not expecting that to happen. I'm just not used to it, right? And so, yeah, I've lost mods because of that mechanic, and I'm just not a fan. I am not a fan of that mechanic. All right, well, dude, you don't really have a whole lot. A real are we already pleasure. doing a job for you? Out there. Yes, we are. Okay. All right, so let's um, let's do this job that's close by. Um, so we're gonna make it the active quest, and it is over this way. So we'll start building up our cash again for that moment when we do find something that we want to buy. And you know, because I'm putting points into Daring Adventurer. We're going to get better rewards, and the trader's loot is going to get better. Okay, have we already been in this place? Um, 
I don't think we have actually. So we could try and do a double loot. I won't double loot the whole house, but we'll double loot the kitchen for jars and the fat loots. So let's let's do that. I'm surprised how often the head the head squash procs on this, considering I have very little skill in sledgehammers at present. I mean, I'm it's proc, and I'd say 40% of the time. Let's look at that too, by the way. Do I, what do I have so right now? Sledgehammer weapons. I what? How can I not have any points whatsoever in this? With all the kills I've been doing with it, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Oh, Ravenhurst, I love you. I just love you. Okay, well, um, uh, I don't remember where fat loots are in here. Um, where are we supposed to enter? Are there are dogs back here. some stuff back there that's probably worthy of looting. Uh, let's just check this real... Oh, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. Put these on. Let's check this. Yeah, okay. Okay, we got some stuff that's good for selling. Oh, I found out uh, from my good friend Deus in Discord that um, I need a crowbar in order to get the seat and whatever that other item um, we need to make the the motorcycle. So, yeah, that's another thing we're, we need to be on the lookout for. Right, Darlene? She said right in case you guys uh, didn't didn't pick up on that. Even with no skills in sledgehammers, I love the sledgehammer. Just absolutely adore it. Is that like a real actual landmine? I don't know. I'm not going to take a chance. Okay, well, let's just bust in here. And it's only 300. I want to get to the kitchen, and then I just want to find where the fat loots are. Okay, let's get some bleeds going on you. Oh, there's a drugs and guns custom POI over here that I definitely want to check out, too. Been actually wanting to do that for a while, but just haven't gotten that far yet, you know? Hey, hold on, I don't have stamina. There you go. Let's get some stam back. Get some damn stam. Should be able to take you out with a normal hit. And how are you doing? Yeah, same thing with you. Say goodnight, Gracie. Okay, let's get back over here. We got Biker. Let's get some bleeds going. Well, actually, that works too. <laughs> that works beautifully. Okay, the door's open in the back. We never looked in here, did we? Let's, let's do it. Oh, nice. And we got some jars. Let's see if we can get some coffee. Oh, you know what? I, I think I'm, I'm familiar with this house. Oh, shit. Run away. Actually, no, I can't say for sure if I am. This isn't exactly the same house that I thought it was. There we go. We finally got our first point in sledgehammers. Yeah, yes. We start using this on hard night, though. We'll, we'll level it up. We'll level it up, baby. Yeah, I still hear a Zeke out here. Let's 
give Jiggly some uh, some bleed action there. Okay, that works too. I have to say I'm liking the katana. Okay, can we be left alone for just a couple of moments so I can loot the kitchen here? Arlene, have some bleed. Those other zombos I'm hearing must be like upstairs or something. Okay, she's dead. Oh, there's a basement. Okay. So I guess the question is, are the fat loots upstairs or downstairs? And also, is there one of these in here? Use some more first aid. Oh, those work too. Those absolutely work indeed. We need poop for compost. Aren't you dead yet? Oh, you're a new contestant on the Katana is Right. There we go. The Katana and the Sledgehammer. Old guy's favorite new melee weapons. Here, let's take out, take you out, too. She's dead. Okay, I think we're... I think we're good to go. Let's just run down here real quick and see if this is fat loot territory. P press E to pick up old radio off. Use remote on radio to switch stations. Really? Well, that's cool. We'll have to check that out. We will have to check that out. Come on, backpack upgrade. I have not had a backpack upgrade in too long. Game, you hate me. Wow. Okay. Um. Spear hunter. Well, here, yeah, we can't keep those in there. At this point, what is this? Craft steel spears. Increase projectile speed and range by 15%. Let, where are we at with spears? I mean, we were using the pitchfork for quite some time, and I liked the pitchfork, but... Then I looked at the spears, and the spears weren't anywhere near as good as the pitchfork was. We have four points in javelin weapons. Yeah, nah. I think I'm going to... Oh, why is that open already? I think I'm going to sell those, but this we will we'll learn. I'm trying not to loot everything, you guys, but... It's very hard not to loot when there's loot around, you know? Destroyed workbench... None of that stuff is lootable. Oh, man, you're scary. Holy crap. Lady. What the hell, man? Is that... Is that just a texture glitch or something? Creepy. Mama's justice. Is this the fat loot's room? Oh. Look at this. We've got a, a vault door. We got a double there. Oh, no, no, don't hit me. You'll give me a stage two infection. Nice bunker down here. I don't, I don't think I've ever been in this POI. Very cool. All right, let's get the meds. Is there something behind here? Nope. Check the toilet for toilet pistols that I've never found a single time in Ravenhurst. All right. I don't know if we're going to get rushed down here or not, so let's just be ready. See what's in here. Nice. I suppose I could close the door, you think? <laughs> Can't take me anywhere, man. Can't freaking take me anywhere. Jars, that's what we need. That's what we need. Take acid. As long as we don't drop it. <laughs> See what I did there? More jars. Hungry. Yeah, we're going to have to go fishing again. Once I take the next level in... Um, Living off the land, I can make a fish trap. Ooh, look at what's up here. 
I'm gonna be so freaking encumbered. We might have to take a steroid. I mean, I've got like 10 of them, I think, so we might as well. Come on, Mang. Okay, decent stuff. How about a nice juicy meat stew out of this shamway crate? Hey, you know what? Five spam isn't bad. I'll take it. I know I should be saving it, but I need to eat right now. <laughs> so that, if that bothers you, I'm sorry. Well, actually, I'm not. I'm not sorry. I gotta eat right now, and that's all there is to it. You have nothing more to say about it. Okay. Um. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Let's take one of these. There we go. Uh, we are no longer encumbered. I'm not gonna keep this. I'm not gonna keep those. I'm gonna drink this now. I'm not gonna keep those because easy to make. I have plenty of cans, and I think everything else I do want to hang on to. Okay, we got a couple more shelves up here. Ah, nice. What's this? Construction tools. Beautiful. We'll hang on to that. We will hang on to that. Is there something else up here? Oh, look at that, baby. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, you know what I don't have on me, I think, are my lockpicks. Do I have lockpicks on me? I don't. Okay. I do have lockpicks back at the base. Um, and because that's a big safe, it'll probably it'll probably be worth it for me to come back. All right. I want to go back up to the... To the kitchen and just loot the rest of the kitchen. I didn't get everything there. Um, so I can get as many jars as possible. Is this a thing? Nope. Nope, nope. Let's loot this. Another mineral water. Beautiful. Okay, we'll take it. Let's check the the trash here. For duct tape and Wine and that sort of thing. A can of tuna. A couple of cupboards here. Might have glasses. Tear the house up all you want, Zombos. It's going to get all fixed up here in just a little while. A couple of sandwiches. How come I can't pick up Big Mama's Justice? Usually you can pick those up, but apparently not this one. Okay, none of this is... Oh, yeah, that's lootable. This is a tool shelf. Come on, man, give me something good. You son of a... Got some steel out of that deal. And we might as well wrench this. Actually, you know what? I'm coming back to do that safe so I will hit that when I do the safe because otherwise I'm just not going to have room I'm really starting to think maybe that something's not working right with um, the backpack upgrades because I literally you know I mean look at my inventory like stops what right here for as long as I've been playing this mod now, I should have found more of those. Whoops. Hey, just come down the stairs, Nancy. All you have to do is just walk down the stairs instead of trying to jump. So there you go. Good girl. Dumbass. Okay. Um. Kitchen. Where's the kitchen? Okay, let's get a few more jars, hopefully. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, 
Oh, oh, look at that. Red meat stew and white meat stew. Wow. Okay, nice find. Very nice find. Okay, so we've looted all the cupboards in here. Let's just, um, I'm going to run back to the base really quick, get my lock picks, go down and get that safe, and then we'll actually start the quest for real. And we're going to have to, we're going to have to secure this place somehow because there's no way I'm going to get through it before nightfall. So I'll meet you guys back here. Okay, I'm back. Um, I noticed there's a room here with a bunch of book cases in it so I want to get these looted too real quick um, also this is just a retrieve quest so all we need to do is just make sure we get the uh, the retrieval item before you know before night and then I can always come back and finish this later thought there might be somebody in there Okay, let's check this stuff too. A couple vitamins, that's good. Come on, backpack. Ah, oh, shit. Those are worth taking. Those two things are not. We'll take that stuff too. <clears throat> okay, we gotta get downstairs to the safe quick. We're we are running out of time here, man. Running out of time. Where's those stairs? Here we go. Yeah, I can always I can always finish this place up later. Yeah, let's just close that and do the safe. All right, nothing too fantabulous, but not terrible. Let's just get this wrench really quick. I know there's other things I could wrench too, but I just, we don't have time. We don't have the time. You getting caught on the stairs again there, buddy? Okay, start the quest. Offload this stuff here. Okay, I guess that's everything it's going to take. Okay, whoops. Uh, so we need to go upstairs for the satchel. I'm not going to go the normal pathway. We're just going to do this quick. You're feral. You have no business being feral. Let's go, go upstairs. What the hell was that? Oh. Oh, wow. Look at that. We lucked out on that deal, huh? Can we get all the way down this hall without anything coming out? Hungry Jeff. Okay, Satchel is in here. Right in here. Excellent. Okay. Now we can take our time. And we don't have to worry about nightfall. Because when nightfall comes, I'll probably just go home and work in the mine. And then come back here in the morning to finish it out. Maybe. How about, actually though, let's go downstairs now. And get to the good stuff. In, oh my! Oh shit! That's an irradiated. Um, Houston. That's our first irradiated that we've seen. Nice. We got a bag. Okay. 
Yeah, you can tell our game stage. Oh, nice. Our game stages are going up. Okay, let's just get to the fat loots here. Close that. We'll probably have a couple zombos in here. Oh, don't aim. Shoot. What the hell? <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes, I'll tell you what. All right. Let's get the fat loots. We got infected. Of course we did. Uh, is it a stage two? Uh, let's see. What are we looking for? No, nah, it's just a mild infection. Okay, we're fine. I got honey in the bike. Um, This is what we want more than anything else. It looks like we got a sprain, too. One thing I don't like about this game is the aim stays, uh, you know, the gun stays aimed when you press the button. It should release when you release, and that throws me off sometimes. <clears throat> okay, nice gun parts there. Okay. Uh, let's check these. What time is it? Okay, we have one in-game hour left. So if we can just hit the... The best stuff, you know. Uh, okay. And the rest of it, I, I might or might not come back for it. Just depends. Probably won't. Okay, we got plastics out of there. Let's check these two sinks for jars. Ooh, that was a nice find. That wasn't bad at all. Nothing in there. Nails. Nah, we don't need nails. More jars. Good, good. And more jars. Uh, here, let's check this. And come on, backpack upgrade. I need you. What the hell, man? How much is this? Nah, I'm not even taking that. I am not even taking that. Uh, we probably better take one of these. And... Alright, let's go. See if there's anything in here. No. Nope. What do we get when we take these apart? Oh, pretty good stuff, actually. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna pop another one of these uh, steroids. I don't have time to mess with it, man. Don't have time to mess with it. Okay, give us more mineral water, please. Ooh, two more mineral water. What's better than one more mineral water? Two more mineral water. Repair kit. Nope. 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 Those. Wait. Those are cupboards. Oh, they're, they're on the other side. I got gotcha. you. Uh, I'll take that. Don't care about the can. Uh, I'll take both of those. Oh, didn't we find um? Uh, didn't we find an ammo thing up here last time? That doesn't mean it's gonna be here this time. But oh yeah, it sure is. Let's grab it quick. And there's a medical thing to the right. Beautiful. Was there a medical thing here last time? I don't remember. Okay, it's 2137. Um, let's check the food box. Okay, we'll take all that. Did we already check these shelves? We did not. Okay, those are not lootable. Let's get this wrenched. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Check this shelf first, though. Dude, good, we got a repair kit. Bookstore box. Ooh, nice. OK, 
Okay. Is it possible to get backpack upgrades in these things? I don't know. Okay, we gotta go. We've got to skedaddle. Where's our bike? Over here. All right, well, um, yeah, no, we gotta go. <laughs> I was gonna go check the gay garage, but that's probably not a good idea. All right, you guys. Well, I'm gonna let you go here, and uh, I'm just gonna keep working on the base, and then, um, not exactly sure when I will bring you back. We got a decent amount of jars from all of our looting, so um, that's what I... Oh, excuse me. Uh, that's what I really needed. Uh, so we got those. And so, yeah, I will bring you back when I bring you back. And we'll figure out what we're going to do next. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.